Hello, everybody, and welcome on Into One Soccer today here on OneSoccer.ca. Andy Petrillo, Jordan Wilson, Oliver Platt, Gareth Wheeler. And yes, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is Joao Morelli, a CPL MVP, a CPL Golden Boot winner who is making his CPL return. Welcome to the show, Joao. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very, very happy to be here. Listen, we're very happy that you're going to be uh, rejoining the the Canadian Premier League. You know, as a lot of people know, as a lot of fans know, playing with Halifax, um, you know, last year going down with that knee injury, going back to Brazil for rehab. And a lot of people were asking, is he going to come back? Didn't know how things were going. There was a lot of concern because clearly you're loved by a lot of fans uh, of Halifax and also just the Canadian Premier League. Take us through your journey and, um, you know, what was it like? having a rehab and the goal of wanting to return just what everything that went through your journey in this last year. Um, it was really tough this one. Cause, um, I mean, I've, I've had so many injuries and, but no one, no, none of them were like even close to this one. Um, in terms of obviously pain, but, Apart from that, like we used to it anyways, but like apart from that, it's just like the mental part was really hard. Um, after the surgery, I had like a very complicated like uh, rehab for about two or three months. It was really, really um, out of what we were thinking. Um, so it was just like, t- like too big. Man, it was too big. It was just very painful um i couldn't stand up for like two months i couldn't like take sh- like a shower by myself you know like it was it was crazy um and during that time i, I really thought like like i'm this is it like I, I can't go back from that and um like these thoughts are hard to control you know like um you're away like i, I obviously my family helped me through this time and i think it was the best option for me because otherwise i'd be like by myself basically in, in halifax but um when you're not close to the team you're not close to the like to the training um y- your head's just like i don't know you think so many things like um so it's hard hard to control this stuff so um during this time it was like my head was just thinking of stop playing for like every day all day so um i really lost my hope that i could play again but i mean i kept like my, my physio in here in brazil my doctors here they 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 helped me like by giving me like 100 percent chance that i i would be good again you know and um i i had to believe them and and it worked out, you know, like I'm fully fit now and um, I'm feeling really great. So, Jao, that must have been incredibly difficult to, to go through. Can you kind of take us through how you were feeling when you're in that period of thinking this is probably going to be it for me? I don't know if I'm going to be able to play professional football again. And then when did you start to see maybe some, you know, a chink of light that, that gave you that possibility that maybe progress would happen? Um. So, like... Uh, the doctor gave me like nine months to to be fully fit again, and but it didn't like I wasn't. Um, so during this nine months, I was just thinking like, okay, like I'm not not playing again. I was I was already convinced that I, I wouldn't play again. So like even like I was talking to the club, and um, that's why I wasn't in the roster. But like I was still like believing uh, that I could play again. So I I gave them. Um, like obviously in mutual agreement, like that I could be back in July if everything went well. And I just kept going. Um, it took me more than nine months. They expected nine months, but it took me like basically like a year. Um, so like um, I felt I felt like I could do it again about two, two three months ago that I wasn't feeling anything. Like I wasn't feeling anything. Uh, I was running. I was like starting to like do some progression on changing directions and like you know just like kick a ball again. And um, cause like when like I've been I've been through this process with the smaller injuries, but um, the 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 way back is the same. 
when you get to that point, it's just like confidence, you know, uh, to kick a ball again, to turn like on your, uh, like my my left left knee, you know. And um, so about two, two, three months ago, I felt like I could do this again. And I started again, like to talk to, to my vegan and we started like planning some stuff. And, but right now, like it's, Almost like I didn't remember what it felt. So it's good. So you're feeling good right now. That's great news. You're on your way back. How are you feeling overall, both physically, mentally, about this return? And you're returning back to a city that you love, a city that loves you, that has a new coach now, a lot of new teammates. Like, mm. do you feel like you're going back with? You know, a bit of the old, but also a kind of a new appreciation of what you're going to be walking into. Walk walk us through where you're at right now. Um, I mean, the excitement is is here, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's there too. Um, as I said, like it's a completely new team, so it, it's basically I'm I'm new to the team. It's like I'm I'm the new guy, you know. So uh, <laughs> now that I'm returning to like an to old teammate, it's just like three of them. And the, the whole staff is like different too. So um, it basically feels like I'm starting again, like, you know, just going to a new club, to like a new place. It's just like, um, but it's good though. Like, um, I feel like uh, we needed that, you know, like Halifax needed that. And and uh, like uh, the last the last three games, I think we, we've been showing that, you know, we can compete against the, the, against the, the, the best team. So, um, I mean, I'm there to help. Um, I'm excited to be there, not just to play. I'm, I, I, I miss the, I miss the, the dressing rooms, you know. I miss the, the banters. I miss the, like, just traveling with the, the guys, you know, like being there, and obviously playing at the grounds and being there too. So, uh, as I said, I, I told Coach uh, Patricia, I was like, um, I can't assure you that I'll play what I was playing before, but like be sure that I will help in the dressing room. Like, uh, and I, I feel like I have a leadership that, I, that can help mentally the guys. And because they're very young too, like, I feel like I'm old now, you know, 27, <laughs> but everyone's younger than me. So like, I have, I have more experience and uh, I think I can help with that. So even if I don't play my 100%, even if I'm not starting, I, like, I'm, I'm just happy to be there again, you know, feel that the uh, day day in day out like training and and you know learning again it's it's really nice to to have this Zhao, nothing is lonelier than the time when you're injured and you have to watch your team play um and you can't do anything about it you're not around the guys it, it really takes a mental strain uh you made it through so i just want to like commend you for like sticking with it and you're coming back thanks man you said you, you might not be the same type of player but like cream always rises to the top. The quality will definitely come back as you keep going. I love what you said about just wanting to be that figure in the dressing room because that's just stuff that like promotes that team and also the league moving forward. But I'm curious. There are two names for me with Halifax that will just always be those guys. That's Andre Rampersad and Jean Morelli. Like you guys for me are just Halifax. The way you've played, the way you've been there nearly since the beginning, um, the goals that you scored. A lot of them are pens that weren't deserved against York, but hey, you, <laughs> you keep moving go. forward. No, I just had to slip it in there. Either way, John was the guy. John was the guy to take the ball for me while I'm complaining to the ref. He's like, he's not going to change his mind. Puts it down. He knew he was going to score. He's right. I was he's like, right. anyway, I love this. But I have a bit of a oh, fun question man. for you. Since you're the leader um, in Halifax, and like you could say this rightfully so, the king of the city as well, right? You're loved by your personality, but also the way you play. Who are you excited to play with now? That's that's new, like you've been watching the team. And who are you excited to, to return to? Uh, it's actually funny you said that because I was about to say something like this too because I remember <laughs> when we played against each other, it was just like, um, like a, just a mix of... Uh, being nice to each other, but at the same time we hate each other at the moment. <laughs> it was it was really fun and 
boring, not boring, but like annoying to play against Jordan because like <laughs> this guy, you know, he's the same guy on the pitch. He's always talking like, you know, it's, it's <laughs> and, and it's funny because Rem, Rempy, me and him, we were always discussing something. <laughs> so so it, it was basically like this. Um, but it's nice, man. Uh, and I'm excited to, I mean, I've been watching the games um, and I, I'm sure you all agree with Daniels, like he's been performing really well. Uh, he's a heck of a player. And I mean, I knew he, him before, but we only played two games together. We couldn't like, you know, get to know each other properly. So I'm excited to play with him. And also uh, Lorenzo Caligari is, I mean, that's, like last night, it was unbelievable. His passes are crazy. Like, you know, they like just, you, you can see he's like, he's different. So these two players, I think, um, and because of my position too, I think uh, it will be like very fun to play with. And obviously, returning to to be with Rampy, play with Rampy. Rampy was like, um, you know, this guy helped me a lot during the games because sometimes I didn't want to, to defend, so he helped me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Rampy, I scored two, man, please run a little bit more. And I was like, okay, okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, like, I'm excited to play with him again. He's a really nice guy. Um, and we need it. We need him like on, on the dress room, in the dress room, on the pitch. So he's, he's a, like, he has a very good character, a very good mindset. And Halifax is, mm. I think, is not Halifax without uh, Rampy. So, yeah, these players. Well, a lot of people would also argue Halifax isn't Halifax without Joao Morelli. And it's, uh, you know, from a human perspective, we know that injuries are part of the game. And oftentimes we talk about six-week recovery, eight-week recovery, six months. Like, everything becomes a number. It becomes a stat. And sometimes you forget, you know, emotionally what a player is going through, especially if they think their career is over. So I'm so happy that is not the case for you. And I know a lot of Wanderers fans are really excited to see you. So I'm guessing that'll be in July, right? You're going to be coming to, to Canada early July? Yeah. All right. Brilliant. Looking forward to it, Joao. Right. What a yeah. mid-season addition right there. Wow. Love that. Well yeah. done. <laughs> Best of luck and thanks so much for taking the time, Joao. Thank Look forward to seeing you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.